Republican Congressman Byron Donalds from Florida sits on the House Oversight Committee, which is investigating the discovery of these classified documents. Congressman, very good to have you with us as we are inside a couple of minutes here. What are your thoughts on what you need to hear today from the White House and, and how do you view it from your committee? I mean, to be blunt, I'm not really interested in what they're going to say because I know it's going to be doublespeak. They're not going to be forthright. They're not going to talk about how the vice president at the time when he was leaving office had classified information, was had it stored for now six years at the Penn Biden Center, which has been, we now know, has been funded by China, this think tank. Um, we find out that Joe Biden's taking his salary from the same think tank. And oh yeah, there's classified information in that office. Then you find out it's just sitting over by the tailpipe of his Corvette. I mean, just give me a break. This is reckless. Um, there are issues to pay, pertaining to the Espionage Act, similar to Hillary Clinton, because whether it's on a server or it's hard copies, it's classified information that is outside of a secure facility. In my view, the Espionage Act is pretty clear, uh, but we need to go ahead and investigate this. What they say from the White House briefing room, you know, they're going to spin it. That's what they do. Well, um, the Espionage Act is one of three uh, charges that are being investigated against President Trump. Uh, we assume this special counsel will also take a look at that act as well. Espionage is, you know, you generally think of it as a spying, but it's also when you expose government documents in an unsecure environment. What do you think about the fact that, that twice now, uh, the first the president said that it was in a locked cabinet, um, I guess suggesting that it was safe because it was in a locked cabinet, and then he said, or closet. Uh, and then he said that the second set was safe because it was in a locked garage and that's where he keeps his Corvette. Yeah, that just doesn't make any sense at all. Let's be very clear, and I do want to delineate who people might say, well, President Trump's documents were locked at Mar-a-Lago. One key difference, Mar-a-Lago is under Secret Service protection and control. I've been there myself. You're just not waltzing onto the grounds at Mar-a-Lago. The documents at the Penn Biden Center, to my knowledge, are not I, protected I, by, by the Secret Service. I, I, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to go live now to this briefing. It's very good to have you here, sir. Thank you for your time.